Rejection number two. This story takes place back in middle school, back in the seventh grade. So about a year ago, I told a story about a crush I had in elementary school. This girl was, I think, uh, at least two grades ahead of me. And this love happened when I first moved into the strange establishment. If you don't know the full story to this scenario, don't worry. I'm going to give you a quick rundown because I am feeling generous today. I transferred from a private school to a public school. Everyone there was weird, so I kept to myself. My eyes caught a glimpse of the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life. Then I decided to shoot my shot. I wrote her a love letter with the intention of sliding it in her book bag. Revolutionary, I know. And this was before way back sliding in the DMs was even a thing. I'm going to sue Instagram and Twitter for stealing my idea. Jacques. My teacher saw the letter, confiscated it, and gave it to my parents. My mom was disappointing in me while my dad, well, he congratulated me because I had the balls to do that. And that was the end of the story. Except for what happened after. Now, if we're using today's terms i was what you call a uh a sim because my obsession with this girl only grew bigger and bigger with each passing year like remember when i said i had a crush on her in elementary school well i had it specifically in the fourth grade so believe me when i tell you it is with the utmost sincerity that i am cringing right now writing the script Due to the fact that I kept sipping over her till the seventh grade. Four years, my nigga. Four years. God damn it, Luigi. Get a life. What is wrong with you? But uh, anyway, during those four years, you wouldn't think I had made a move on her, right? Nah, not quite. Because besides the letter, I simply didn't have the balls to interact with her. Because for one thing, like I mentioned, she was a couple grades ahead of me. And there was the age difference and the height difference. I was short back then very short and plus on top of that i was friends with her kid brother so whenever we was all in the same room she didn't practically see me as a man i mean we're kids despite the age difference i did not look the part the part of a man that could protect her provide for her you know what i mean nah she only saw me as little bro's little friend you feel me so yeah that hurted my chances a lot but that didn't matter for me because i was young dumb and in love so fast forward four years later i am now in the seventh grade like i said i still haven't made a move on shorty yet and i started to feel impatient i couldn't take it anymore i need to tell her one way or another now i was not going to walk up to her and be like hey baby you want to know something i love you sweetie baby no nah 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 too easy since i was a simp i declared my love for her the simple way buy her unnecessary sh that she didn't even ask for well <clears throat> except for the buying part because i didn't have any money so i went to my cousin's closet and i saw a necklace i stole the necklace and the very next day i went to school with it so i'm in class right and i'm explaining the plan to my buddy kane okay boss i'm going to get on my knees and give it to her uh no don't don't do that Wait, so would have been better if I just stood up and gave it to her? I just don't think that's a good idea, period. Nah, it's fine. I got this. I got this. I got... Here she comes. Wish me luck. Good luck, I guess. So I got up and went around the corner and waited for her to come back with the necklace in my hand. I waited and waited and waited. And it's been like two or three minutes, but it felt like an hour when I was in this corner. <sighs> brother looking back now i look like a dumbass and finally she came back she came back she came around the corner and then i just stood there she looked at me and i just <laughs> it's all right we all have cringy moments all right so she looked at me and i just like <laughs> like oh my god why what was what went through my mind that day oh my gosh why did i do this to myself so long story short i had no game i wasn't smooth with it so i just like presented her the necklace and she just shook her head and then walked past me oh yeah that was rough gang don't ever try this don't ever do this learn, learn from me all right don't ever do this man so i went back in class broken and then Keynes was like so how'd it go and i just didn't say shit. i couldn't say <laughs> later that day it is lunchtime i looked at the necklace disappointed and i threw it on the school's rooftop then i sat on a swing naruto style some would say that was my first heartbreak eh, i digress and kane's being the realest nigga that he was looked upon me and gave me the realest advice ever look bro 
Chira, that was a bold move, but she not the only girl in the world, my guy. You'll be good. And I said this was the realest advice ever because you gotta remember, we're like preteen. So for him to have game like that, that meant a lot, bro. And as soon as he gave me that advice, that girl was past tense. I started looking at life in a different perspective. It was then and there when I started to have an abundant mindset. And that's ultimately the moral of this story, people. Whenever you get rejected, just remember she is not the only girl in the world. Or he, for that matter. You have another shot at this. And this doesn't only apply to relationships. Whenever you get rejected in life in general, just chin up and look forward for more opportunities ahead of you. Learn the lesson and keep pushing forward. And also stop sipping. Hey, what's up? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Where's Mario, the one and only. A big shout out to my boy, Stanley Animations, for making this video possible, man. Links to his channel is down below. If you don't know who he is, I mean, <laughs> there's no way you should not know who Stanley Animation is. You, you feel me? But if case you don't know, he's down there. Tell him Mario sent you. And that's it for me, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment an embarrassing moment you had with your crush before. I want to hear all about it. And that's it for me. Like I said, do all you gotta do. Share this video, you feel me? I'll be seeing you guys soon. I love y'all. Take care of yourselves. And I'm out. Bye.